All right, it is Wednesday morning, 7.08. Um, I've got about 30 minutes left before I'm heading out uh, for the airport. I'm on my way to Germany. And then, of course, next week, Prague. I will be at the EBLS Prague show, hosting the show um, Saturday night. Looking forward to meeting all the European fans, especially the Czech, Czech and, uh, and a lot of Germans going to be there. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, like I said, I will be in Prague next week, uh, Wednesday or Thursday, and I'll stay all the way to Sunday. So I'm looking forward. Just in case if you guys haven't purchased the tickets yet for the show, go get your tickets for the EVLS Prague show. It's going to be off the charts. So um, let's talk about whatever has been going on the last couple of days. Uh, the Olympia weekend is in the books, you know, of course, as always, you know, not everybody agrees with the decisions. That's just the way it is. It's a biased sport. If you are biased and you like a person, of course, you know, you, there's no way you see anybody being better. That's just the way it is. But uh, we have to accept and respect the judge's uh, decision. And uh, in my humble opinion, I think that this was uh, okay. Like I said, um, some guys come in better Friday, some other guys a little less good, and then they change it and come in better on Saturday, and that sometimes can uh, uh, make uh, change the uh, outcome. That's just the way it is, you know. People have to understand that uh, just because you maybe not as good on Friday and somebody is ahead of you, that doesn't mean that um, it's going to stay that way because like it is now with the confirmation round, they, they say they judge 50% on Friday and the 50% will be judged on Saturday. So that can help for others to move up or even move down. Um, Australia is on my list for October. You know, I don't have the exact dates yet, but I will put them out as soon as I, as soon as it's confirmed. Okay. Um, let me see if you have some questions. When am I planning to come to India again? Uh, probably towards the end of the year, it's very possible. If not the end of this year, then definitely early, early next year. All right, so let me see. Any questions? Why can't Phil handle the negativity? I don't know. Maybe his emotions were all riled up for how long? I'm not sure, you know. And then when it's all over, some people are just, you know, it just, it just comes out, you know. That's a question you need to ask Phil. I can't, I can't answer that. I just joined. Do you think Rami going up for a, a second day? I think Rami improved Saturday and therefore moved up to second because he was in third on Friday after prejudging. So by him coming in better Saturday, he moved up and uh, and uh, pushed um, William Bonac back in third. If Rami would have came in Friday the way he did Saturday, he would have been a real close fight with um, with Phil. That's that's my honest opinion. Could Phil beat Ronnie? I'm not sure if you mean if you're talking about the uh, the titles, the, uh, the, the the eight Mr. Olympians. Or if you're saying, could Phil beat Rami uh, at his best and Phil at his best? I don't think so. What's up, Vietnam? How are you? Can Rami beat Phil in the future? Absolutely. He just needs to come in. It's, as you can see, he's getting better every year, so he's, he's figuring it out. He just needs to figure it out to bring it the first day. But absolutely, if Rami is on, can nobody beat him? I don't think anybody can stand next to him if Rami is 100%. 
how far do you think Josh Lenardovich can go in the future? He can go very far because he has this, the body, he has the uh, the muscle, he has the, the shape. If he brings the condition, he's a that's an easy top three, top four athlete. Absolutely. We don't believe Phil is a champion. Well, this is your opinion. Everybody has a right to a, his own opinion. And, and if you think that somebody else should be the champion, that's your abs that's your right. That's your right. Just the, the problem is we don't judge the show. There's judges. They decide. We don't decide. We can just sit outside. And the problem is a lot of people, they just look at the size and they just look at certain things. And, and you got to look at the whole picture. You know, it's for me, it's very hard to explain, especially if you're not a... Um, um, if you don't have the experience and, and, and if you don't know exactly what the judge is looking for. But when, of course, if you look at the overall package, and Rami will kill the whole lineup any time, any day. You know what I mean? But there's a little bit more to it than just being the biggest guy, you know? Rami is not lacking anything. He just needs a little better condition. He needs, if you look at Rami, the separation, you know, there's a chest striation. Those are the things that we, it's missing. When he does the most muscular, if he brings all that in, He's going to be unbeatable. Ain't nobody going to touch him. He's not even going to be close. He can win shows hands down. You know what I mean? So he's on his way. He's on his way. I mean, he's been constantly moving up. He's not. He didn't go backwards not one single day and not one single year. So he's moving up and he's at second place now. So it's a fight next year. He can literally now go back to the gym and just concentrate on the Olympia next year and just focus on beating Phil. That's it. Yes, Nick, I will be coming back to Australia. Uh, Rico, as of right now, nothing's uh, scheduling Detroit. I'm sorry. No, I would not compete again. <laughs> no. Any plans for my future? Yeah, there's future plans, and I will make an announcement real soon. Thank you, Ibrahim Mokta. I appreciate that. The, the, the judges, this is, this is every year the same judges. They have, uh, you know, Steve Weinberg is the head judge, and they have their judging panel that's uh, selected. And uh, yeah, that that that's just the way it is. It won't change. How many years can Phil just that? That's something only Phil can uh, answer. I have no idea. Who's my favorite bodybuilder? They're all my favorites. You know, if 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 I have to choose. Uh, one or two guys out of the lineup. Now, let's say three guys out of the lineup this year that impressed me. It was definitely Nathan DeAsher. Impressed me a lot. And he's a newer guy, so he had to pay his dues, but he did a good job. So did William Bonac. And, of course, Rami is improving, getting better every year. And, you know, and that's just time. With time comes the quality, the density, the size he has. Now he's just working on quality. And as you can see, he's getting better year by year. And it's just a matter of time, you know what I mean? It's just a matter of time. Updates on Dennis Wolf. Dennis Wolf is growing and growing and growing. He's doing well. He's in good spirit. And he's looking forward to uh, starting his preparation probably sometime beginning November. He will start his contest diet. But as of right now, he's still in a, a, a growing phase. He's still, his weight is still increasing. And uh, yes, his comeback will be something something we uh, sh we can all be really happy about because I think he's going to do very well. Uh, Mario, ich werde das alles erklären, wenn ich fliege. Ich bin jetzt gleich in der Stunde auf dem Weg nach Deutschland und ich werde dann auch in Deutschland auch ähm, ein, ein Statement in Deutsch abgeben. Ich werde euch genau erklären, wie es weitergeht in der Zukunft. Also es ist auf jeden Fall viel besser für die deutschen Athleten oder für alle Athleten, nicht nur die Deutschen. Es ist besser, du musst auf jeden Fall, du brauchst dir keine Gedanken mehr machen, wer dein Präsident war und musst bei dem gut stehen, damit du auf die Liste kommst, um äh, auf die, irgendwelche Meisterschaften zu fahren, wo es dann eine Profikarte gibt. Das ist alles vorbei. 
Wir planen Shows in Deutschland und auch in der Schweiz und in Österreich. Das ist alles in, wir unterhalten uns gerade über alles, damit die Athleten sich selbst anmelden können. Du kannst da hinfahren, du kannst starten, ohne dass dir irgendjemand sagen kann, das ist nicht, du kannst nicht und musst dich qualifizieren. Das ist alles, alles vorbei. Es gibt also dann mehrere Shows in Deutschland, wo es auf jeder Show Profikarten gibt für unsere IFBB Pro League. Ne, also wir haben mit dieser Elite League gar nichts zu tun, ne, was das sein soll. Das ist, wissen wir nicht. Der probiert, der Raphael probiert wahrscheinlich seine eigene Profiliga zu machen, aber um die zu etablieren, wie jetzt die äh, IFB Pro League, das dauert 30 Jahre. Also wenn ihr jetzt äh, gerade geboren werdet, jetzt morgen oder übermorgen, dann ist es vielleicht interessant für euch in 30 Jahren. <lacht> Ich mache auf jeden Fall ein Statement, wenn ich in Deutschland bin, dann erkläre ich euch alles ganz genau, es braucht sich keine Gedanken machen. Es ist also nur viel besser für die Athleten und nicht mehr für die Präsidenten, die Landespräsidenten und, und die, was weiß ich, Offiziellen, die sich alle nur die Taschen voll machen wollten die ganzen Jahre. Es ist alles vorbei. Uh, why don't I open a training camp here in Europe? Because I can't be everywhere. I can't be everywhere. I do my, my camps uh, all around the world. I travel. I'm going to go to Saudi Arabia um, in, in October. I'm going to go to uh, Taiwan for a seven-day training camp for Fitness Factory, November 1st to November 10th. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing, I'm, 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 I'm hustling, trust me. I'm doing what I can. I can't be everywhere at the same time. There is no IFBB Pro League and NPC split. Guys, please understand, the NPC is the National Physique Committee here in domestic in the United States of America, which is the NPC. That's the only way in the U.S. to turn pro. It has nothing to do with the IFBB uh, International. That's our NPC. That's our amateur league. I'm talking about the IFBB Pro League split from the IFBB International, the amateur league. So there's no more connection, okay? So... Which means if you go and if you compete at the IFB International and you go to the World Championships, where usually the overall champion gets a pro card, that's over with. If you win the World Championships, the European Championships, the Arnold Amateur or whatever that is, because there won't be no more Arnold Amateurs as far as I'm concerned. But any any pro qualifying event that they had will no longer be accepted for us. We don't give out any pro cards for the IFB Pro League. So. In order for the guys that want to turn pro in the IFBB Pro League and, and eventually follow their dream and of ever be competing at the Mr. Olympia, there will only be shows that we put together from the IFBB Pro League internationally. They will be all over Europe. Don't worry. There will be plenty of shows where every show will be a pro qualifier. They're no more qualifying to go here, to go there. It's all pro qualifiers with pro cards every single time. It's actually good for the athletes and not for the officials that are you know squeezing all kind of money out of the athletes to go there and then travel there and you got to pay for the hotel there flight get there it will be right there in your country several shows where you can choose which one to do it's going to be a lot easier and a lot cheaper my humble opinion was i impressed by the 212 lineup um yeah I, I, I was impressed with a couple of guys. I was impressed with Jose Raymond, and I, I don't know why he ended up in third. I would have had him second. But um, the guy that impressed me a lot, I can't remember his name. He didn't even make top five. That dude was in great shape. So I'm a little confused about the fifth place and the 212. This guy just, just turned pro at the USA's this year. I mean, he has great shape and everything, but he was really, really off. So he was not in shape. I'm not, I'm not sure how he got into the, in, into the top five because I would have two other guys in there before him. But, hey, I'm not a judge, so I'm, I got I to gotta respect the decisions just like everybody else. So I'm just, you know, I'm just voicing my opinion, and I'm not talking down on anybody. I won't do that. Uh, Aries Dejic, Aries Dejic, absolutely yes. Am I on a diet now? No, I'm not on a diet. I just eat clean. I've been doing this for how many years? I, I don't eat shit all day. I can't do it. I can't do it. Sihan, super. That's some guy that's built. Now we're good. We don't see him. We're not a
Doch, es gibt in San Marino eine Profikarte. Leider hört zu. San Marino ist die erste Show, die von uns alleine veranstaltet wird. Die IFB International hat nichts mehr zu tun mit San Marino. Das heißt, die Amateur Olympia in San Marino ist eine neue Show von der IFB Pro League, wo ihr auf jeden Fall eine Profikarte gibt. Es gibt auch noch, damit ihr das versteht, and please understand, they're still going to, we still honor this week's Arnold Classic, Prague, and we'll still honor the overall champion to get the pro card, because we, even though we split from the IFBB, uh, we don't think it's right to, uh, to uh, um, um, we see all these athletes getting ready for the shows in order to get their pro cards. Why should we stop that? So we honor these last two shows, which is uh, uh, Spain, Arnold's in Spain, and the EVLS Prague show. And those are the last shows from the IFBB International that we will honor and give them pro cards as the overall champions. After that, it's over. So, don't, guys, whoever's getting ready for the shows, wer immer sich vorbereitet für die Arnold in Spanien und für die uh, EWLS in Prag, es gibt Profikarten dort, wir haben uns entschieden, dass wir die Athleten nicht bestrafen und daher braucht ihr euch keine Gedanken machen, für diese zwei Shows gibt es noch Profikarten. Meine über der Dick, ja, der ist Dick, muss, der, muss, der muss mehr Fleisch drauf, der ist nicht, der ist nicht massiv genug, der von hinten ist er zu schwach, und kann daher bei diesen Leuten, die jetzt so stark im Vorne haben, mitkommen, das ist ja nicht so wie letztes Jahr, da war ja, das war ja ganz anders. Jetzt ist es ja dreimal härter, überhaupt da mitzuhalten. Also das hat man ja mal gesehen. Das hat Dick muss einiges, einiges draufpacken und an der Form noch irgendwie etwas verändern. So the situation that happened with IFB Pro League is better for athletes. Will there be shows at IFB Pro Cards? Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. There will be plenty of shows all over Europe, trust me. Big Rami, Big Rami should have won. Trust me, I wanted Rami to win just like you. But you know, I, I'm from looking at it. I gotta be honest. I gotta, I can't say okay, Rami was the best when I believe that Phil had made better condition and more detail. So we have to, we have to be honest to ourselves. I want Rami to win too. But if Rami sets his his goal right now on working on, on on condition and separation for next year, that's all he has to do. That's the easiest training. He doesn't have to work. Any, anything for size no more. He can just literally focus on detail and detail and detail and come back next year and just kill it. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys, but I got to eat while I'm talking because, I, like I said, I got to get to the airport in time. Rami can be Mr. Olympia. Yeah, I've been saying this since 2013. He said he will be Mr. Olympia sooner or later. Can Phil get rid of the gut next year? I believe yes. I think I believe he was overcoughed. It was much better Saturday than Friday, so I believe he was just hot, too much, too full, overcoughed, and then he didn't control his stomach. When he controlled it, it was okay. No, thank you for the food. <laughs> it's just eggs. It's an egg omelette and some rice. I'm just doing it real quick. Any more questions that I need to clear up for some of the athletes? Uh, we'll plan on, uh, we'll do, uh, we will plan on something in Asia soon, but uh, we don't have any exact date, so I'm not going to say too much. Um, <laughs> who wears, me versus Winkler in the most muscular pose, who wins? You die, you guys decide. <laughs> I, lo I love all these guys, and I'm, I'm a fan of bodybuilding. I'm a fan of every single, every single one of the guys on stage, so I would not be trying to compare myself to anybody. All right, any more questions? <laughs> ja, also der Cedric war also meiner Meinung nach so außer Form, dass ich den nie in der Top 10. Ich hätte da schon noch jemand anderes in die Top 10, weil wenn man so weich sein kann und dann trotzdem 10, da wird bei in meiner Zeit, wo wir damals auf der Olympia waren, da hättest du mit so einer Form nicht mal Top 15 gemacht. Also das gab es gar nicht.
IFBB Pro, whatever, uh, uh, Jackals, you don't have to worry about the statements because you know, it does not affect you. You're already IFBB Pro, so you don't have to worry about anything. I tell you, you have to worry about it. All the people, all the athletes, the IFBB International Amateur Rings that are dictated by their presidents and by Rafael Santoya, they dictate and all this damn are worldwide, that's over with. All the guys getting ready for these shows don't have to worry about these shows no more because they will not turn pro. The only way to turn pro is to do the shows that we will put together in the future. And I, and we're not going to wait. It's not like there's going to be a, a year or two where there's no possibility of turning pro. You guys will have more possibilities to turn pro in 2018 than any other year with the IVB International. Trust me. That was German for the people that don't understand what I was just saying. Do I think William should switch to 212? Michael Hornot. What the hell are you thinking? The dude plays third in the open class. Why should he switch to 212 where they don't even have a third of the prize money? Why should he switch? He's killing it in the open. Why should he switch? What is your... How do you think? What, what's wrong with you? Tell me please about Chris Bumstead. What do you think about him? I think Chris Bumstead is the absolute classic physique future. He's the perfect classic physique, and I'll be honest, I, I wouldn't have a problem if they would have had him over uh, Breon Ansley because the height, the width, the sweep on the quads, it's all there. Classic, I mean, if you think about classic, you think about Chris Bumstead. When you turn around, Breon Ansley killed him from the back with the detail in his back. That was it. But Chris is 22 or 23 years old. All he has to do is just keep doing what you're doing, work a little bit more on back detail, come back next year and kill it. That's, yeah, that's a good thing. You'll be able to compete at the IFBB Pro League events, Europeans and anywhere, at amateur events where you get your pro card. And the good thing is we don't discriminate. You don't have to be just IFBB. You can come in from the NABA, WABA. Uh, it doesn't matter what federation or association. You can come and compete, and you're good to go. Um, Vianney, if William Bonac would have got first, nobody would have complained. Trust me, no one. Thoughts on Callum from Moga? I don't know this guy. I'm sorry. What about Victor Martinez? Victor was up there. He was representing. He looked great. He looked great. You know what I mean? It's just hard to stand next to these new guys now when you, you know, in your 40s. And that's when things started happening. You know, the quad sweep starting to go a little bit. It's going to be hard. I don't think that Flex Lewis will have a shot in the open. I don't. I don't think that. So I think that would that wouldn't be a good move to do move up. And I don't think he will do it. Uh, Psalms. Yeah, I think that's just a business. Everybody coming up with this new stuff right now. Twenty years ago, we didn't have all that. And the guys back then were better conditioned, better shaped than today. So why guys bring up all these new shit, Psalms, this and that and this and that? That's the stuff nobody ever messed with before. It wasn't even there. Why should this be helping you guys now? Look at the difference in condition when you look at the Mr. Olympia now and look at the Mr. Olympia from 20 years ago. 20 years ago, everybody was in condition. There was no guy on stage that was far off or that was smooth or was watery. They were all in shape. Why is that? Think about it. Okay, the guys are bigger now, yes, but I said I say it all the time. Trust me, I'm the I'm the prime example that bigger is not always better. Trust me. Mostly it's not, unless you're in a crazy condition and you have condition that Rami and that Rami uh, Ronnie had when he was in Mr. Olympia, being 280 pounds in crazy condition.
My opinion on Cedric McMillan, Cedric McMillan has the best shape of all of them. He should be in the top three regardless you know, if he can only be in shape. If he can be in shape, he's the most dangerous bodybuilder out there. But if he's not in shape, there's nobody has to worry about him. Brandon Curry, major improvement. Got to keep doing what he's doing. Maybe bring up the legs just a little more and a little bit more separation in the quads. But Brandon Curry improved a lot. He was better than he was in the early, early this year when he won two shows. So good showing for Brandon. Why these guys getting conditioning so wrong? Because it's all about size, size, size. They worry about size more than... People don't understand that if you are really conditioned and you are smaller, you appear to be bigger. You're going to create an illusion that you can create if you're big, smooth, full, and, and super full. Because that's when you're starting to look smooth. Okay? So, I did the mistakes too. So, if I could give any advice to any of these guys right now, fuck, stop worrying about size and start worrying about condition. What do I think about the difference between Phil Heath and Ronnie Coleman? It's about 40 pounds. What's for breakfast? Eggs and rice. I'm sorry. I don't want to be rude and eat while I'm talking to you guys, but I'm really running out of time, so I, I can't I can't wait till I'm done talking. So I got to get it done together, so because I'm going to be picked up in about 20 minutes to go to the airport. Sydney might be in October. Brad, you're right. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ryan. I appreciate that. But that's what, I think that's what the fans expect, and that's what I hear. The problem is, you know, you can't make everybody happy. You know, I got so much negative, so much negativity on my pages because I, I didn't see Rami winning, and I get it because... So if you're a fan of somebody, you don't care what nobody else looks like, you will always think that your person should be the winner. And, and, and I get that. I understand that. But if I'm sitting in the audience and I'm trying to give you guys my honest opinion, I can't be biased. I have to, I have to say it like I see it, and that's the way I saw it. If Rami would have came in Friday with the same look as Saturday, it would have been way closer than it was. This time it just wasn't close enough. You know what I mean? Because like I said, Rami was third. I thought he's going to end up in third because William Bonac was straight second on Friday. Believe it or not. And he lost it on Saturday because he was 100% on Friday and couldn't hold on to it until Saturday. And that's what cost William Bonac one spot. But for William, third place is unbelievable. He is the true giant killer. I don't care what nobody says. Thank you, Boris. All right, guys. Um, I don't want to just be rude and, and just get rid of you guys, but I got to get ready. Um, I might be uh, back online from... Uh, I got to stop over in Denver before I head into Germany, so I'm going to have a couple of hours in Denver. I might be on online to talk to you guys. And... Uh, you know, answer some more questions. But until then, one more time. All the ad, amateur, ad, amateur athletes inspiring to be am, uh, IVB Pro League Pro, don't worry. You will have more opportunities to turn pro than any other year before. So, literally, don't worry. Don't let this guy, anybody scare you and say anything. We will have plenty of shows for you guys. 
to turn pro, uh, and, and 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 this won't even be it won't be necessary for you guys to fly, travel, and spend all that money on hotels and tickets and blah blah blah. It will be basically in your backyard where you can drive to and drive home if you want to. Okay, so I'm I promise you guys. Uh, um, you won't you won't have any issues and you will, and it's better for the athletes and I'll, I'll I'm a hundred percent behind it I'm supporting this a hundred percent and I will make a statement in Europe in Germany for the German speaking uh, people uh, as soon as I get there and as soon as I have a little more information on when and maybe some dates where well, you guys totally understand uh, what uh, we're talking about so until then God bless you guys be safe and um, uh, well, we'll talk to you guys soon, okay? Peace.